It's not every day that a kid gets to talk to an astronaut, not just any astronaut, but one that happens to be in space. That's what happened on Friday at the Fort Meade STEM Center for Innovation when a group of 10 middle and high school students had a chance to ask some questions to Nick Haig, one of six astronauts currently on the International Space Station. What is your favorite space food over? So I have a bit of a sweet tooth, and so desserts have a, uh, uh, a uh, spot for me. Uh, lemon curd cake is uh, my favorite up here. It's got the very uh, sour punch of uh, lemon to it. It's very sweet and delicious. Haig, who has a bachelor's degree in astronautical engineering from the U.S. Air Force Academy and a master's degree in astronautical and aeronautical engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, was able to bridge the distance between students and astronauts in a, well, very down-to-earth way. And he also took the opportunity to remind students of the importance of education. How old do you have to be to go into space? Over. You know, there's really no age limit to go to space. Uh, the, the minimum requirement to be selected as an astronaut is that you have a technical degree. So you need to go to college. So study, study hard, do well in school, and then when you get a job, you want to excel at it. But the, the biggest thing I can say is just find your passion in life, what excites you, and, and chase that. Over. As for how this communication takes place between space and Earth, this wasn't modern technology, but rather one that blazed the path for it and still has enormously important uses. We are the Image Radio and the International Space Station program, and we let the students talk to the astronauts through ham radio, amateur radio or ham radio. Well, ham radio has been around for a while. Yes, it has. Longer than the ISS has been around. Absolutely. And with all this technology today, ham radio still plays a part in... Absolutely. Uh, ham radio is still a very vital capability. It's actually used for uh, when there's uh, disasters, um, during hurricanes. Sometimes amateur radio is the first communication. If, you've ever, if anyone's ever been in a, a disaster, the cell phones go out right away, and ham radio is there to protect and uh, provide health and welfare information. Uh, we are internationally based. 99% uh, of our activities are volunteer, uh, so I'm volunteering my time as an example. And uh, we do contacts with students all around the world, about one to two contacts a week. So we are totally independent of NASA's communication system, and actually that's a good thing because we are also a backup communication for space station. If something goes wrong, similar to hurricanes and disasters, if something goes wrong on space station um, or if there's a communications outage we're there to help what is your favorite type of work on the international space station over we do so much up here that all of my education is in astronautical engineering how to build and design spacecraft and so i think i find some of the most fascinating stuff because i relate to it with all my education is fixing the systems that make the space station run. Uh, one of the most thrilling ways that we get to do that is doing a spacewalk where we go outside and fix those systems. A spacewalk is just an amazing experience where you're in your own spacecraft crawling around on the outside of the, the space station in the vacuum of space with the, the ginormous Earth gliding below you over. The result of this 10-minute Q&A, the smiles said it all. You just spoke to an astronaut, yeah? yeah? Tell me what that was like for you. Donna Cole, WNAV News.